Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Kotze, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon at the Everett Clinic here in Everett, Washington. And I want to talk to you about shoulder arthritis. And the first thing I want to talk about is what is shoulder arthritis. So if we look at this, these two x-rays here, I think we can get a good idea of the difference between a normal shoulder, which is here, and an abnormal shoulder, one that has arthritis. So the first thing to see here is see this ball. This is the ball of your shoulder joint. Down here is your arm bone. And here is your shoulder blade. And this is the cup right here of your shoulder. And if you look closely here, this ball right here is nice and round. It looks smooth. There's no irregularity. There's no little bumps. And there's a space between the ball and the cup here. And that space is made of cartilage and cartilage is the smooth stuff on the end of your bones and that is what allows your joints to move nice and smoothly and cartilage is six times as smooth as ice on ice so it's very very smooth tissue but when that tissue wears away and it exposes the bone which is underneath here bone is very rough and when bone touches bone that's when you get uh, arthritis uh, so on this picture here you can see that the ball is not smooth anymore you see these little bumps right here and then it's round and then you see this big bump right here this right here uh, is a spur from arthritis sometimes these spurs can get really big they can come all the way down to here and all of these spurs are inside the joint. So you can imagine if you've got some covering that goes around the joint and you pack it with all these bone spurs, this ball is not going to move very well. It's going to you're going to become stiff. So a lot of patients with bad arthritis lose motion in their shoulder. They can't reach behind their back, they can't reach above their head like they used to, and they can't reach out to the side like when you're trying to grab something from McDonald's drive-thru. So, uh, arthritis is a disease of the cartilage. It is when the bone is exposed on the end of the ball and on the cup. And there's many different levels of arthritis. So you can have really mild arthritis, where there might be just a little bit of loss of the cartilage in one little spot. Or you can get severe arthritis, where the whole ball is completely bare and just bone touching bone. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about what your treatment options are uh, for uh, this arthritis here. So the first thing um, is the basic, just basic pain medicines that you get at any pharmacy. Any kind of anti-inflammatories can help relieve your pain. Uh, and these are things like Advil, inflammatories. So you have Advil, you have Aleve, and then another category, you have Tylenol. And surprisingly, these give pretty good relief when you have mild arthritis. And most people can get by with taking this maybe when they before they go to sleep at night or one during the day, and you're good to go. Uh, other medicines that you can take um, are things that are a little stronger, such as uh, narcotics, but most of the time you only take those if you have very severe arthritis and you don't have any other treatment options. So really, uh, uh, narcotics are really something that you should avoid because th th you can become tolerant to those uh, and they do have side effects. So what happens when you take an occasional Advil and you still have pain from your arthritis? What can you do? Another thing you could try uh, are supplements and supplements are uh, natural uh, um, remedies um, and you might have heard of a few like uh, glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate is another one these are things you find at any health food store uh, and what they are meant to do is try and replace these are the building blocks of cartilage 
in your joint and the thought is if you take more of these building blocks you're more likely to replenish the cartilage that's in the joint here um, and they work probably for about half the patients that take them and they are uh, there's really no risk uh, to taking these and the only risk is actually to your pocketbook because you know sometimes they are costly and what I recommend is just going to um, a website called arthritis.org and they have a whole supplement guide there and it will talk to you about uh, all the different supplements that are out there there's studies on these supplements and they can tell you which ones uh, might be best for you to try now when these things don't work uh, other simple remedies uh, such as ice or more commonly heat heating pad on the shoulder before you go to sleep at night can often help uh, and um, that's usually the one that I recommend for someone who has a little trouble sleeping is get a little heating pad that'll help you out activity modification is always the other thing you know sometimes when you get older um, there's certain things that you can't do doing the heavy lifting up overhead or doing heavy weight lifting um, sometimes you, uh, you might have to moderate that a little bit um, and then uh, another thing that you can try here are injections now injections are steroids and sometimes you can take these injections and you inject them right in the joint here uh, and what they can do is decrease some of the inflammation that's in this joint uh, that causes pain the the upside is sometimes they give pretty good relief the downside is uh, most of the time they're only temporary so it's a temporary solution and I usually say if you've got some big event that you need to go to and enjoy like a wedding uh, or you're going on a big vacation you know, there's nothing wrong with trying a, an injection before then but for a long-term uh, cure this is not really the answer so um, if you've tried all these things and you still have really significant pain especially if you have pain at night uh, there uh, is a surgical solution uh, that could uh, help you and that is a joint replacement and a joint replacement is where we put on a new uh, a new ball and a new cup so you replace this ball with a metal ball right here like this and that metal ball is attached to something that goes down the arm bone here to secure it in place and then we put a piece of plastic on the other side here and that piece of plastic has these little tubes in here and little spikes in there and that basically is held inside the bone here so now you get a nice smooth surface not quite ice on ice but pretty darn smooth and it really does the job of um, allowing people to get good pain relief and so a joint replacement um, is excellent at relieving pain um, it is uh, sometimes good at improving your motion but um, not as reliable uh, for pain relief so really the main reason to do this is for pain relief and most people who have let's say an 8 out of 10 pain they go to about a 2 out of 10 so or if you can say you know people beforehand can only do maybe 50 percent of their activities um, without pain they usually go to doing 75 percent of their activities without pain it's not a hundred percent you know a couple people can get really great uh, normal function but most people you get about 75 percent of your activities back that you like to do uh, so doesn't make you 18 again but it can certainly make you feel a lot better especially if you can't sleep at night because you just have this constant pain uh, in your shoulder now if uh, you have arthritis the best thing to do is to see your health care provider because they can make the diagnosis by getting an x-ray of your shoulder and if you do have arthritis like this uh, with significant pain you need to see your surgeon so you can talk about what your options are and whether you really truly are a candidate uh, for uh, surgery or if it's best to start with those other options that I just talked about earlier.